The jury in the phone hacking trial has been sworn in this afternoon at the Old Bailey. The judge instructed jurors to ignore the publicity surrounding the case, including what he described as a joke in especially bad taste on the cover of the satirical magazine Private Eye. Well, our Home Affairs correspondent Andy Davis has been in court all day. He joins us now. Andy. Matt, more on Private Eye in a moment. But first, just let me tell you that the prosecution case, which was due to open today, has actually been pushed back until tomorrow. So what we had today was the defendants standing in the dock and the charges read out against them. Charges which, in the case of Rebecca Brooks and Andy Coulson, include the allegation that they were involved in a phone hacking conspiracy spanning six years, a charge which they both deny. The judge then turned to the jury of nine women and three men and made it very clear to them that they must approach this trial in a fair-minded way. He said there's been a great deal of publicity about this case which has been inaccurate, offensive and demeaning to some of the defendants. Put that out of your mind, he said. Judge this case on the arguments and the evidence before you. In a sense, he said, it's not just the defendants on trial here, it's British justice on trial too. And that's when he turned his attention to this edition of the satirical publication, Private Eye. And I gather he gave it a bit of free publicity about actually proffering the magazine in court. He held it up in front of the jurors. It's got a photo of uh, Rebecca Brooks on the front, as you can see under the heading Halloween special. You will have seen it on the newsstands, or you will see it on the newsstands, he said to the jurors, so I can show it to you. Uh, it's meant to be satire, he said to them. You ignore it. It has no serious input and it's not relevant to your considerations. A joke which in these circumstances, he said, was in especially bad taste. Now, the Attorney General's office has confirmed to us tonight that it doesn't envisage uh, taking any contempt of court action against Private Eye on this issue. But it's very illustrative of just how much sensitivity there is surrounding the coverage of this trial, and it's barely begun.